Okay, so this is a quick video about the Hive app, mainly made for my customers, but I dare say others may find it useful. Uh, we fill our Hive, so the first thing you notice is probably how many messages I've got. But what we do is we open the Hive app on your smartphone, and you will be greeted by this screen, which if this is your first device we've installed for you, um, you will see at the center there is your main home stat. If you can buy other devices if you want. Now in my house I have two firm stats, but just ignore the one on the left and the one above. The one above is a door sensor, which tells you when the door's been opened and closed. Um, and you can set actions, which for instance, if you open a door, your heating will kick in, um, things like that. And you can get light bulbs, so you open a door and a light bulb comes on. Quite useful for people, um, but anyway. So this center button, is the one you'll probably use if we've just installed this for you. And what this does, if you click that, you will see that at the bottom you've got basically three options. You've got manual, schedule, and off. You also have a boost function just above that. We'll come on to that in a minute. So on manual, now if you look above that uh, orange circle, just to the left, you'll see 20.6 degrees. Now that's the temperature in the house at the moment. Oh, well, that's what the thermostat's reading. Now if I'm, if I'm cold, I can turn that up just by pulling down on my screen, which will then, I can just turn my boiler kick in. Um, so then as soon as it reaches 22.5 degrees, obviously it'll try and maintain, it will maintain that temperature uh, until you tell it otherwise. So I'm going to turn it down because think of the gas bill. And my boiler has just gone off. So manual is basically you being in, in control of your heating in real time. So you can just mess around with that all you want. Okay, so that should be fairly simple. Next we have a boost button. And what this boost does, now you can see mine was set to, was it 23.5 for two and a half hours? But you could set that to whatever you want. So if you wanted to boost your heating to 22 degrees, at the minute it's on 20.6, for a duration of one hour, what it'll do is it'll try and bring the temperature up in the household to that temperature within a one hour period. As soon as that one hour has elapsed, it will then move back to whatever you had it on previously, i.e. manual, schedule, or off. And at any point, you can press the stop boost button. So basically your boost is a nice, easy way. If you're sat on the sofa and you think, I'm going to bed in an hour, I just want a quick boost of heat without having to worry about turning it off again. That's pretty useful for you. Okay. So that's your manual and boost. Manual is where you're in control of your heating and boost is where you can give it a quick boost. So at the bottom, you've also got schedule. And what schedule is, is where you can actually set the timer to come on and off as you wish at various times throughout the day. Whatever time you specify to whatever temperature, that's what the boiler will do. So what we can see here, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's take Monday as an example. So uh, currently on Monday, between 6.30 and 9.30, the temperature will try and reach 20 degrees in the house. It should reach that within a three hour period, but that's, that's what it'll do. Now you can change that by just clicking on the time slot you've chosen and then just moving up and down. Thank you, Jim Davidson. Uh, just moving up and down as you wish. So I get up about 20 past seven in the morning, ready for work. So I want it to be the heating to come on a little bit before that so the house has got time to heat up and then it's probably a bit late for me there we go so it's going to start the boiler's going to kick in at 6 30. it's going to end at 8 30 and it's trying to reach temperature of 20 degrees now obviously if in the summer the temperature on a thermostat is 21 degrees all night or whatever then it won't kick in at all but if it's in the winter and it's say six degrees it'll reach that 20 degree temperature and then it'll knock off and then obviously you just click save. Now these time slots can be adjusted to suit you, whatever you want to do. So you can see here at 8.30 in the morning um, till 9 o'clock at night, the temperature sits to 8.5 degrees. And we can change this however we want to change it. And you will note that the, um, the time slots will adjust. So at the minute it says 8.30 to 1700. I mean, the next slot automatically adjusts from 1700 to 2115. And you can see how these time slots just follow on from each other. 
these three, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a circle with some dots. If you press that, we can then copy Monday to whatever days we want. So you can copy that to whatever you want. There we go. Apply. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday will be the same, but it hasn't copied it to Saturday and Sunday. Now you can do this as often as you want and you can change it as often as you want and your boy will follow that um, follow that schedule for that specific day and you can obviously adjust them individually whatever you want to do that copy function is just a convenience thing finally on this screen you've got actions and again as i, I think i said at the beginning um, you can buy various devices such as light bulbs uh, door opening monitors so when you open a door your heating might kick in and then when you um there you go why explain it there you go boost your heating when the front door opens is number two turn your heating off when the when the window opens that sort of thing um so you can pretty much there's loads of options there for you to mess around with but again it, it's dependent on you buying other devices and that is essentially the basics of the hive app there are other things you can do, such as device information. You can see my battery's low there, but it's got good Wi-Fi connection. If you look at the top, I need to change my batteries. Device information will just tell you all the firmware information and the software updates that might be available. You can rename device if you want to call it. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. There you go. That's how you do that. Um, geolocation, which will, if you're away from your home, so if you've left your home, it might turn the heating off for you. So if, if you forgot to turn your heating off automatically, you, you totally forgot, you don't want to go in the app or you can't remember to, it'll actually not heat enough. Conversely, it will know when you leave work and you're two miles from home to turn the heating on. So it, it starts to warm up when you arrive. And then you've got things called holiday mode. So if you're going away, you set the time and date that you're going away when you expect to be back and your holiday temperature at the bottom um, is usually frost protection to avoid any burst pipes if you're going away in winter or during particularly cold weather. And that is basically how you use the IVAP app for normal functions. There are many things you can do. There's loads of, um, probably loads of videos about this thing online. Feel free to have a look. And the actions thing is quite useful, this thing at the top. So if you do end up buying bulbs, things like... When I open my front door, that bulb will turn on, stuff like that. When I open my front door, the heating will come on to 20 degrees, whatever it happens to be that you set up. But for the majority of people, you will put your heating in manual and you will turn it up and down as you wish. I hope that video is helpful for someone. Um, I know we fit these a lot for people and they're particularly, particularly useful when you have, uh, well, for my parents particularly, because they're always forgetting to turn their heating off at night. So every night I get a little reminder just to um, check their heating because usually it's up at 26. I mean, my mum doesn't sleep, but anyway, that's a different story. Um, anyway, that's it. This is Pete from CombiCert. Hope the video was useful. It's mainly aimed at my customers, but I dare say it'll help others. And if you've got any questions, then stick them in the uh, boxes below. Feel free to subscribe. You never know what else is coming up.